Good morning, everybody. It's another beautiful day in Franklin, Tennessee. There is no wind, which is the perfect day for you to spray fertilizer on your lawn. Uh, none of this stuff is gonna come back on us. It's gonna be great. So today, what are we gonna do? Uh, today, we're gonna spray a couple of different things. We're gonna do some humic acid, and then we're gonna do the complimentary fertilizer to what we did last week. If you recall last week, we did almost straight nitrogen. Uh, this week we're doing a mixture that is actually a 3-18-18. So what does that mean? The three main components of every fertilizer is nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. And those are what those three numbers represent. So when you look at a bottle or at a bag of fertilizer and, you'll see, and you see those three numbers, what you understand is the first number is nitrogen, then you've got phosphorus, then you've got potassium. And that just basically tells you what the ratio is. So if you see a three in the front, that is 3% of that container is nitrogen. 18 is 18% 18 of the uh, phosphorus and then 18% of the, of the potassium. So when we look at those numbers, like why are they important? So last week we pretty much did a, a straight up nitrogen. It was a 2803, so it was almost all nitrogen, which is great for the lawn. In fact, I'm gonna show you here in a second how much greener the lawn is today because it was really a good feed for the lawn. As you can see, it is very close to complete recovery. Um, get really, really close. You can see lots of green, lots and lots of green. On the side, it looks even better. I mean, if y'all recall, there was a ton of scalping, ton of brown right up in here. And even where my sprinkler head was broken, it is now almost completely recovered. I'm very happy with the progress. All right, so the two bottles that we're going to be putting down today are the humic acid and then this 31818 that we're going to be putting down. The first thing you got to do is you got to figure out like how much area you're going to cover. So this bottle basically covers about 3,200 square feet. Uh, first thing that my wife and I did this morning was we went around and we measured, which I probably should have done a long time ago, to be honest with you, but we finally got around to it and we measured what our area is. <laughs> Instead of just sitting and having my coffee, this is what I get to do. And why is that important? Well, if I'm trying to cover 3,200 square feet, but my area is only 2,000 square feet, well, when I'm done with this, I should have about a third of this left over. Now, if you want to put it all down, that's fine, but just understand that there are going to be areas that you need to cover more than others. So keep that in mind. Um, this bottle is a quart also. With the nozzles that they give us, um, it should cover just about the exact same amount. Uh, another thing I want to make sure that everybody understands is I, I'm not getting paid by, by this company. Simple Lawn Solutions is something that I've watched some of these other guys on YouTube use and they swear by it and they think it's a really good product. I'm actually gonna be testing it today to see how it works. Again, it, uh, this is not an endorsement for any one product. I'm just trying to help you guys understand what are the ratios, how much should you be putting down and making sure that you understand what your coverage is. So when you're looking at a bag and a bag says 5,000 square feet, but you only have 2,000 square feet, don't put the whole bag down. That's a mess. You're gonna literally burn your lawn if you do that. So make sure that you measure. If you've got a five pound bag and you've got 2,000 square feet and it covers 5,000, put down two fifths of that bag. Don't put down the whole bag. You will burn your lawn. With that in mind, we're gonna go ahead and spray out the lawn and uh, we'll, we'll go from there. One more thing, uh, don't forget your PPE. Make sure you have gloves for this stuff because uh, these are harsh chemicals. Most of this stuff is not necessarily bad for you, but it's just a good practice to get into, no matter what you're working with. Always 
have gloves on, okay? And glasses. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Uh, got through and sprayed the whole yard with the humic and the uh, 31818. So we're in good shape. Things to keep in mind, uh, this stuff needs to be watered in. So it's okay to um, turn on the sprinklers right afterwards. Today here in Franklin, it's gonna be in the 90s. So it's probably a good idea for me to get water on it a couple times. The other thing is that both these chemicals, they can be put on at the same time. So don't worry about um, waiting or anything like that. You can just put them in together. The uh, potassium and the uh, phosphate uh, mixture, that one uh, I actually was able to go through the whole backyard and then the front um, twice. Uh, so the nozzle was coming out a little bit slower on that one. Um, the humic, it came out pretty quick and a lot of that has to do with consistency as well of the product. So it's something to keep in mind next time I do this is that the humic is gonna go fast, so I need to move. Um, even though it, it covered exactly what I needed it to cover and then the potassium is going to move a little bit slower So we're going to want to slow that down a little bit that being said uh, I really hope that you guys enjoy the video. I hope that you uh, are learning something from these if you like what you saw Please like the video and also don't forget to subscribe. Uh, it's always good to know that uh, people are getting something out of it I hope you all enjoy your uh, football Saturday. The Hurricanes are not playing today They play next week and I will be in Miami for that game. So looking forward to it uh, with that, y'all have a great weekend and enjoy uh, time with family and friends this weekend.